I say that the USML is not a test of knowledge. What I mean is not just a test of knowledge. And by knowledge, I mean medical knowledge. I mean your medicine example. Let's say a test, right? If you're able to use a hammer to do the knee reflex test, someone taught you how to do this and you can easily get the reflex, that is your medical knowledge. But if you read about the test and how it's described in the USMLE, for example, it's not necessarily translated to you being able to understand the test in the context of the USMLE. For example, for example, I knew every single thing of like, I knew what retinal, how retinal artery occlusion um, presents, how central vein occlusion presents retinal. I know all that. Okay. And this is, this is to bring a very important point home about the USMLE. Okay. Let's see. So a man, 64 year old, sudden loss of vision in his right eye. After watching the news at home, he had no recent injuries or illnesses, type 2 diabetes, the latest for 15 years. Vital signs are normal. Visual acuity is reduced to light perception in the right eye, normal in the left eye. Ophthalmoscopy reveals loss of fundal details, floating debris, and dark red glow. So this question is a proof that test knowledge in the USMLE is not enough if you don't know how to translate the knowledge you have to, or how the USMLE translates the knowledge that you have into written text. Okay, so forget about everything else. Let's focus on the ophthalmoscopy here. So on ophthalmoscopy, reveals loss of fundal details. So what is ophthalmoscopy? Ophthalmoscopy or fundoscopy, it's the same, right? So this is the ophthalmoscope. Using the ophthalmoscope is the ophthalmoscopy, the science of using it, whatever, right? So this is used to see the fundus, so you can look at the fundus, okay? First of all, um, so if you don't know what ophthalmoscopy means, you will not be able to understand what's going on here, okay? So you, you have to translate even though you know of endoscopy, you know the finding, sometimes the problem is not even that. The problem is that you didn't translate what ophthalmoscopy means. So, reveals loss of fundal details, floating debris, and a dark red glow, okay? So, if I used my knowledge, right, and I, and I saw a dark red glow and loss of fundal details, vaguely I could say, you know what? Okay, loss of fundal details, okay, so kind of pale retina, right? And dark red glow, oh, this is central retinal artery occlusion. And that's what I did. And and the, the proof that this is not true is I got the question wrong. And the reason is because I didn't translate the ophthalmoscopy findings properly. And it's not about my knowledge. I know very well how central retinal artery occlusion well. It's just I didn't understand what they mean. So let's focus on this. So loss of fundal details, floating debris, and a dark red glow. What the, what the hell does that mean? Loss of fundal details simply means that I, you can't see the fundus. So let's see vitreous hemorrhage, how it presents. It's simply like vitreous hemorrhage fundoscopy. See, like this is an example of vitreous hemorrhage, right? And if they just said, you know, they, they could have made the, the problem very easy for you. Like they could have done very easy simplification of the question to just test your knowledge. If you really want to test your knowledge, you could have done it very easily. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to test your knowledge through the language, the medical language, the complicated medical language. So ophthalmoscopy reveals loss of fundal details and dark red glow. This is how I translated loss of fundal details. This is how I understood in the context of what is being said right but that's not what they're trying to do you could translate loss of or you can you could interpret loss of fundal details in multiple different ways depending on the uh, the location so i thought okay flo floating debris i thought of the retina i thought okay let's see retinal detachment here i thought okay this is might be floating right floating debris okay debris they, they might have called this debris right but if you don't know what the usmle means by certain stuff or like medical pr practitioners don't uh how the how they communicate with each other and describe fundoscopy findings, you'll not be able to practice medicine even though your knowledge is intact, right? So what the what the step two here is says is saying is ophthalmoscopy reveals loss of fundal details, floating debris, and dark glow. So let me see, let me understand if I'm gonna review the question, I've got the question wrong. In order to review the question, you have to go through the process of translation and in order to understand what they mean by everything right so in this in this particular scenario they mean loss of fundal details you mean you just can't see the fundus so in vitreous hemorrhage this is what it means you just can't see the fundus like you can't see the details right like the fovea what are the details right like what do they mean by details here so the fovea the macula right maybe the optic disc the arteries you can see you can't see the details that's simply loss of details meaning right in the this in this context 
And not only that, you have floating debris. So they literally mean by debris is like the red cells or like the blood. And they made it hard for you to just think about blood because they want you to go through this process that I'm going through here. And this is the proof that the USMLE is not a fucking test of knowledge, right? It's a test of understanding and critical reading and thinking through the medical knowledge or medical concepts. Okay, I hope this this come home to you here. Okay, so which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A dark red glow. So they mean by dark red glow here, what do you think? Let's see what the explanation is saying. A dark red glow and a loss of fundal details on ophthalmoscopy. Uh, <laughs> if you understood, I, I was trying to, to see what the glow means here. So give out steady light without flame. Like, to shine or intense heat. Um, I'm trying to like understand and connect the word glow to the understanding here in the fundoscopy. When the hemorrhage is dense enough, a dark glow, red glow, and loss of vandal details. Dark red glow. I think they might need by shining. Um, I think fundoscopy is done by like, by light. Let's see. So how's ophthalmoscopy done here? Okay, so I think the China light somehow. That's why it's glowing. So if, if there is just a color, the color of blood, it's gonna be it's gonna glow if you put light on it. So let's see the fundoscopy quickly uh, what happens in it. So fundoscopy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they put light on it. Right. Let's see a video. It's not get back to zero. Yeah, see, here's the light. It's trying to put the light in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what it means. So glow, I didn't, I didn't plan on understanding this until now, guys, in order to show you what it means. So a dark red glow is basically, it's glowing because you put light on it uh, through the fundoscopy. And that's what I mean by the contextual knowledge. So imagine if I just attended in the ophthalmology clinic and I just did these things. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't need to just Google this stuff and understand or learn whatever, right? I could just have the context. That's why I said, don't ignore going to the rounds, guys, okay? So here's a very, this is a perfect example. Finally, I found a, a great example. And unfortunately, I used a question that I personally got wrong in order to show you the process of someone who doesn't know in order to someone who reviewed well. And no way I could have remembered that I'm doing this if I didn't try myself reviewing question. And that's why high scorers do. High scorers do is they do the same process. And then they tell you, you know what? Just read the answer explanation. Just, just read the, the fucking educational text, and that's it. Hell no. Hell no, bro. Okay? They go this, through this process, whether you like it or not. So the reason is some people are very good at, at English. So for me, I didn't I didn't remember what ophthalmoscopy means, so I have to I have to Google it. If somebody is in medicine already or like he attended the rounds in ophthalmology, you'll be able to understand this. The red glow didn't make sense to me, so I had to dig down deeper. So people just have different skill stats. So the reading skills are, are good. So if your English is really good and your English to medicine is good, English to medicine is in, like trying to make sense of the English word in the context of medical language. And, and people do that in a variety of different industries. So you can do that in, in law and whatever. So the word glow means something else in, in, in the context of law, whatever. So loss of fundal details, flowing debris, and a dark red glow. <laughs> Picture sandwich. And then, and then after you learn this easy, you know, you're surprised how this guy, you know, solved the question very quickly. And it's just, it's just, it's just dumb. And I, I thought to share with you guys this question because this is going to make sense for a lot of you and to, as a proof that the USMLE is not a test of knowledge. Okay. And I want to bring home very, very well. People who already have, already have this understanding, this process already built in inside them. They don't understand that this is a crucial piece of, of, of puzzle that a lot of IMGs, a lot of even non-English speakers are, are missing. And they have way more knowledge, like IMGs have way more knowledge uh, than, than the medical uh, USMDs. Um, and people who've been practicing medicine for like five years and can't even pass the USMLE. You know, like, and I'm like, you know, I talk to a lot of students and the problem is lazy tutors. And I was one of them. I was lazy. I thought it's very easy. You know, why, why the hell would you pass? Would you not pass? And instead of trying to solve the problems of students, different students, and <laughs> you never see this, guys. Like, you never understand what I, what I reached, except when you see how different people struggle. So the USMLE is not just, you know, a straight up, a straight up, you know, pathway to, to follow, you know. So people, especially, um, you know, that, that's why, like, that's why a lot of things will make sense. Don't copy someone else's uh, exact steps, right? Use your fucking mind. Use your mind. Don't copy someone else's advice. And use your understanding and your brain to make sense of stuff. And if you get stuck, believe, believe deep down that, and deep down, that you will be able uh, to find the answer that satisfies you. 
on every single level. Okay, starting from translating the English to medicine, translating the medicine to to whatever the context and getting the big picture. Okay, so here let's keep going. So if the if the mosquito reveals loss of frontal details, floating debris, and a dark red glow, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis in this patient? Well, central, central retinal artery occlusion is obviously so dumb. So the next question here is, okay, so I need to understand how to describe central retinal artery occlusion to someone. Maybe I know how it looks like on like maybe I know the history, history of diabetes, whatever, hypertension, all that kind of stuff. Anything that will lead to the vessel uh, hyperplasia, any change in the vessel that will lead to its occlusion will be a risk factor, right? Like type two diabetes is the most common, for example, whatever the most common is. I don't care about knowledge, um, the, the medical knowledge. This is of of um this is this is a phenomology job, right? So your job here is to understand that English, the medicine, and the context of medical language inside the fucking question. That's your job. Don't 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 think you're you're, you're you need a lot of knowledge or whatever. Just translate what the knowledge you have. Okay. So I know I, I perfectly know that this is this is central retinal artery occlusion. Um, this is how it looks like because I've seen it multiple times in, in a lot of questions. But they just change the the, the wording of all stuff. So you have to understand the words. Okay. So pale retina. You know pale. We see a lot of the word pale, right? We see a lot of patients. Uh, patients. You know pale is like kind of symptom of anemia, but you don't understand the word pale. That will, will not make sense for uh, people who speak English. But for me, pale means it's like decreasing color. That's it. That's the word pale. So the retina is the color is like I don't know gray. I don't know, I think it's gray or something. If it's gray, it's gonna be less gray. And anything around it, surrounding it, it's gonna be like kind of more transparent. Uh, so this is the pale, right? Because the retina is transparent, right? But it, it, it has like it's not white transparent or like full transparency. It, like, it, it has a color. So when I say pale retina, it means like a retina that has little color and whatever behind the retina will appear to you. So shared red spot, um, so pale retina, attenuated blood vessels, because of course the central retinal artery is the one um, supplying these vessels, so you'll see attenuated. And oh, I could go even more. I say, what the hell is attenuated mean? I'm trying to understand the word and what it means and stuff like that. But you know, I wouldn't go that for just the video is too long now. It's uh, 14, okay, 14 minutes, okay. So that's that's what I say about reviewing the question. Okay, and the problem is I'm so angry because I just some students I just can't help them, guys. And I, I, I go through, they trust me, and they say, you know what? Um, they trust me, and they reach out, and they need help, and they pay, to do everything, right? And, and they excite, excitement, but I just can't help them because I just, it just made sense for me that where some people, uh, where some people fall. And I hadn't understood until I saw a lot of questions suffering, and uh, a lot of people suffering, and I suffered myself. <laughs> like, see how selfish I was. Like, I wouldn't even think about the problems until it became my problem. Okay. All right, so I just thought to make this video very, very quick. Uh, I'm, I'm still preparing for step two. Unfortunately, I haven't done a lot of progress because I've been uh, doing some business, you know, having some stuff. I'm doing my question bank now, my own question bank. It's a multiplayer question bank. It's going to go out soon. So hopefully, guys, you get value out of this video and understood what, it, what does it mean to review that question, right? Not just randomly reading the explanations and answer choices. And I'm sorry if I've been, uh, if I haven't uploaded a lot of like videos in the past, but hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll make more videos. I just bought a lens, a nice lens, so the, the quality of the videos will, will, will improve. Um, so just just like this video subscribe if you if you get any value from this video make a comment tell me what you think of the in the comments i would gladly appreciate it um i'm not i'm not uh i'm not promoting myself i'm not trying to i'm i'm using this youtube channel to just provide the most content the most value for the most people as possible and unfortunately i didn't understand what most people need because i haven't taught a lot of students so i don't know the different variations of difficulty difficulties of different students until very late um and until i even like i said realize what like, my problem is um so thank you guys for watching and and i'll see you in the next one take care